Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, like I said in my last video, I, I did go somewhere else today. I stopped at uh, Marshall's to get some uh, brushless shaving cream because I like to use it here. <laughs> and of course, they didn't have any. And I was like, well, this is a waste of a trip. I'm going to pick something up because I'm that kind of an idiot. So I really couldn't find anything. They had uh, a bottle of Coach Platinum there for like 70 bucks. It's like, eh, and get it cheaper. And they had uh, Dolce & Gabbana, the one there, for like 50 bucks. I was like, I can get about that price online. And it was only the EDT. I get the EDP for about that price online. So I was like, yeah, nah. And then I looked at, the, for some reason, the winners here, the Marshalls, whatever you want to call it, is just stocking these ridiculous, I don't know if it's their brand or not, but a bunch of weird, cheap-looking, crazy-ass-looking, cheap looking cheap looking <laughs> Uh, dupes really um and i'm a sucker so i bought another one <laughs> this was the best looking out of the bunch so that's why i bought it and the name was cool uh black Ood, uh crosscut men's skull supply company um i'm gonna give you the website i can the only place i found to buy this because i know somebody's gonna ask was online on eBay. It was like 40 or 50 bucks. That's a lot for this, as far as I'm concerned. Because I went to the website, and it is... They don't even have it listed. It's... Um, JoeCottBrands.com J-O-C-O-T-T-B-R-A-N-D-S.com You can go there, try to find it. I couldn't find it there. Um... But they tend to be, it's kind of reminds me of almost like a, a, I don't know, an Avon site or something. You know, they've got makeup and fake nails and body washes and deodorants and stuff. So, I don't know. Anyway, from what I could gather from this, and you might be able to tell from the bottle, it's supposed to be a dupe of Montel Paris Black Oud, something like that. That's what I've been hearing online, the little bit that I could find. And let me tell you something. If this is a dupe of that and it smells like that, you got ripped off when you bought the Montel because this is not very nice. I sprayed it on a couple hours ago. Well, it's not, it smells like a cheap dupe. It's very synthetic, um, but not gross or anything. It just it smells like a cheaper kind of scent. In the ingredients that it uses, uh, the smell I get from it was, it's just super floral. No real oud to speak of. I don't get any oud at all. Like, not a, not an ounce. What I get from it is this light musk, slight suede kind of leather, a little bit of maybe sandalwood. And that's it. Super floral, though. Like, I mean, it is, it is. It reminds me of a mature woman scent. I don't mean an old woman, like, you know, 80, 90 year old woman, like a, you know, woman in her late 50s, early 60s, something they would wear. Um, potpourri ish is the best way I can describe it. I was trying to figure out what that smell was. I've smelled it before, and it definitely wasn't the Montal. Um, potpourri ish, honestly, is what it smells like to me. It smells like potpourri. Like, a lot like potpourri to me. And at least the potpourri my nan used to have, it was the dried flowers and woods that would sit in there, and sometimes she'd boil it in water. To, and while not an unpleasant smell, it made the house smell great. As a man's cologne, even as a woman's perfume, it's kind of... Mm, but as a man's cologne, no. No. I don't know performance or anything. I'll say just put it on a couple hours ago. Uh, projection was okay. I mean, it projected for a solid hour. <laughs> Very aromatic that way. That's the florals, though. Uh, but nothing I'll ever wear again. I just should not be for men. This is one of them few that... And the uni, and the, the Montal is unisex, so... This is... I wouldn't even... I mean, it's unisex, but it is feminine. It, you, technically, it's classified as unisex, but I'm telling you, at least this version is feminine. Very feminine. And I'm sorry if you like it. I know, but I'll never wear it again. I mean, maybe I'll do a day with just for shits and giggles, but yeah, that was my first impression. I'll give you a spray, I guess. Why not? 
Not a bad sprayer. The atomizer is pretty... Gives it a good amount of juice and nice fine mist. Pimento pepper, too, I pick up for some reason. That Play-Doh vibe you get. Could be a flower, though. Could be tuberose. Without the smell, just the feeling. Yeah, I know. It, it, now that I'm smelling it, it does smell cheap. It... It smells waxy, if, if that's the term I can use. Candle waxy. It smells candle-ish. Potpourri candle type deal. Yeah, no, not for me. Not for me. Um, use it in my tire as an air freshener. Cause it's not bad in the air as a freshener, but not as a clone. All right, guys, that's it. Just a first impressions. What I bought. Peace, love, be good to each other.